All right, beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jose. Today we're going to be unboxing the Bobo VR S3 Pro Super Strap. That is the new release from Bobo VR for the Quest 3 headset. And the big key on this, guys, sneak peek, is this 10,000 milliamp battery, which is going to put out the correct battery amount for your Quest 3 headset because the Quest uh, 3, the M3, Ah, surprise our headsets still drain and that's been a big factor for us so i want to fly wirelessly i want to play in vr and i want to have hot swappable batteries and we get that here with 10,000 milliamps so uh let's let's get into this and guys if it's your first time here my name is jose i'm under traffic control at tampa international airport huge vr flight sim nerd uh, as you can see i fly back there in my sim pit i got another sim pit in the works over here to my right i don't know is that your left i can't tell hopefully it's still your right that's probably your left you know what I mean. So let's get into the boxing, guys. Here we go. All right, beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have the Bobo MR VR. What's it called? The Bobo VR headset that we're going to be unboxing. Not the headset. Gosh, it's the head strap. Guys, anyway, this is the Bobo VR S3 Pro Super Strap. And it is in this box. So they ship it in this cool little reflective box, which is crazy. It's like bubble wrapping inside out. Now, what is this? This is gonna be the modern version of the Bobo VR head strap, right? This is great, but this battery does not keep up with the power draw on this. So I love this, fits great. Um, I bought this one. This is the one I have for my Quest 2. So I've been using this for a long time. And then they released the Bobo M3 VR Pro Super Strap, which we're about to unbox right now. So this is, look at it, here we go. The Bobo VR S3 Head Strap Pro. All right, some quick specs before I go off. First of all, um, this isn't sponsored or anything. I bought this myself, I paid for it. And uh, like I said, I've supported the other two because I I've enjoyed them for my Quest 2. My Quest 3. This has uh, head air condition head head air conditioning, guys. 10,000 milliamp hot swappable battery. By the way, these are 5,000 milliamps. So we're now up at 10,000 milliamp batteries. Battery has just one, and right now they're out of stock. Um, I jumped on the moment this became available. Oh, look at this! How nice. Um, part indication. So it has a part indication list here. So full breakdown, um, what does it say? It's the, the model number, S3 Pro. Hopefully I'm not breathing on this mic. Uh, 500, um, so again, it's a very familiar design as we look at the other one. And it seems like they have, um, they've kind of just improved on their design. See that there. And it's very similar. The batteries are not going to be compatible. These batteries are not compatible. If you were wondering, they just simply, there's no way. Um, also, these are lower amperage batteries. They're not going to create the proper pull, or they're not going to push out the proper amperage. I guess it's good that it doesn't connect. And here is a fan right here on the front. So the fan is right here is really neat here's how that's gonna work there's a silicone I never really use these what is this number 12 honey add I don't know where it goes it's a honeycomb not the honeycomb yoke we're used to but it is a honeycomb system all right so let's put this box out of the way okay check this out guys here it is dude this is the same size. I'm going to show you guys right now. So this is the new and improved uh, Bobo VR. There's the battery port on top. This connects, obviously, right to here. But I will reiterate, the old one does not fit on here. Here we go. So we got that awesome sound. Um, now, if I can show you real fast, this is... The new one on the bottom, and my purpose on showing you is this, the bottom one is sig this is significantly heavier. I wish I had a little way to measure this. 10,000 milliamps, 5,000 milliamps. This, I mean, 
I'm not complaining about it because I'd rather have the 10,000 milliamps on here than the lighter weight because I still feel that having the weight on the back helps balance the headset. Okay, here's another real cool thing. Are you here now? See if you can focus on that LCD screen. So right there, we see the battery life on the side, which is amazing. I believe that's the battery life. Battery life at 17%. And then the other thing that we see there, do it one more time, is, I don't know if you, All right, hopefully you saw that because I can't see what I'm showing you. Um, the other thing you get there is the fan speed. So that's really cool. Now this was kind of the downside of me unboxing this. I wasn't sure the battery's gonna be low, and it is. We get another USB-C to USB-C cable. Uh, made in China, Shenzhen, that's the name of the company, Shenzhen, Tsai. I can't read that, I'm sorry. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is take this off and try on the headset right here, just so we can maybe have a comparison of before and after. So, when he's actually entering me in VR, this feels pretty good. Put a pound of weight on the back, right? This is the one I'm used to. I do feel a little bit of weight on the face, on the cheeks here, but obviously that can be adjusted. And then now, tightening it up, it feels great. This is the Bobo VR Quest. This is the original, which is the M3. Put on these headphones. These headphones just have two things going on. I got music, because I love music. I record this as well as um, I can hear myself and for whatever reason I'm not a musician or an artist but I like hearing my voice and knowing where I'm at not that I like hearing my voice all right cool so you guys see me um, removing this setup here uh, now all right we're gonna attach this new setup here, if I can do this correctly without breaking it. I have not read any instructions. I don't know if there's any special things to do. I'm just willy nillying this. Oh, yeah, that's not good. Push that right on the cameras. Good job. All right, so I think this is working out great. Nope. Nope. Don't do what I'm doing. Pull this back. Pull this up. Oh, uh, all right, guys, you guys see that, right? So here, first of all, don't drop this off your desk. Pull these down a bit. This fan goes over the headset, and I'm curious to see what the fan cools. Um, after wearing the hat, and when I put on that, the old setup, believe it or not, it was actually fogging up a bit. I'm trying to figure out where to stop. I have a detail. Do I just go till... All right, I'm pretty much flush. I don't know if you can see that. Pretty much flush. So here it is. Um, and it's at 100% speed. There's no, there's no button on this, so to speak. All right, Bobo S3 Pro instructions and read them carefully remove the headset align the s3 pro insert the s3 pro charging cable into the usb interface in quest 3 connect the b100 battery pack magnetically to the magnetics interface on the s3 pro okay what i was thinking i'm gonna take off the headset the headphones Access. all right so my first impression is a little bubble there like that round good so, the Quest 2 with the M2 Pro is comfortable. The Quest 3 with the, I guess, this is the M3 Pro is actually significantly more comfortable. And I will say the Bobo VR S3 Pro, the Super, is the most comfortable head strap 
I have worn. It is by far way, like they each got more and more comfortable. Oh, there we go. That's how we get the battery to work. The fan, it works. So you have to click this button here. All right, so battery's at 16%. Now let me put it on and let me see where this cooling is coming in from. Wow, okay, that's nice. Will it make it? All right, let me do something now. I'm gonna take this off and I suspect I'm gonna feel it a lot more now. So for those of you that like to wear your headset without the front strap, actually this feels so good on my head. It is cooling down my head. I'm a little sweaty from recording here, but this right here, I feel it. This feels really good. Um, I'm curious to see how much I'm gonna use it because I prefer to have a longer battery life. But for those of you who just need that extra bit of circulation, my gosh, that is nice. I removed the interface. Oh my gosh, I see my hands. In the car. I removed the interface and it's actually I have an, an increased peripheral view. But let me see if I adjust it. Where's the button? All right, is it? There we go. All right, so it's a click that turns on the fan. There's only one button on this and it's a button scroll wheel right here. I'm not going to lie. I uh, think I like that. That is really nice. So you can see it draws the air in through the front and then there's a gap right back here in between your forehead pad. That is very well done. So for those of you who wear glasses or your headset fogs up or you just need that extra bit of cooling, I think this is gonna be a winner. Now, we have a 10,000 milliamp battery that doubles the previous one. This is my goal. I want to be able to fly in Microsoft Flight Sim VR DCS untethered and have two or three 10,000 milliamp batteries ready to go. I wanna have the fan full speed. And if I get, I don't know how long I'm gonna get, but I'm gonna test it out and I'll let you guys know. But if I get, you know, a few hours of it, I'm going to be very happy. Not to mention, this is significantly more comfortable all the time I've spent with the Quest 2, I'm sorry, the Quest 2, the M2 Pro and the M3 Pro. So guys, I've bought all these by myself. Uh, this isn't sponsored. Um, I was able to get an early purchase because I saw it went up available. I bought it, they shipped it and it took actually a long time to get here. I'm so glad it did. Now guys, yeah, so I think, you know, as far as my first impressions in the unboxing, I really like it. I think it's significantly more comfortable on the back. They added more padding, made it better than this one, uh, which is, I lied, that's upside down. They made the back padding larger. They put a bigger battery on the back, which is gonna help with the balance. It actually doesn't feel heavier. In fact, it felt more balance and these two little tabs up top at first i thought they were weird kind of hard to see these two tabs on top just kind of help kind of grab it on the top of your head but they're not man this halo design which is the lower back of your head to top of your forehead is absolutely amazing there it is guys the bobo vr s3 pro super strap and i guess the accessories that it comes with a 10,000 milliamp hot swappable battery Currently sold out. Okay, and so guys, for the price on this, I don't even know if I said that yet, it's $89.99. And right now they have 10% off if you order before February 25th, which is cool. Uh, not to mention guys, they're sold out. They're currently sold out. Um, I think they're pre-ordering to do high demand and limited stock. So, um, and the orders will be shipped within two to four weeks. Again, I ordered this about three weeks ago when I saw it go up. Now, the biggest thing when you're wearing this in VR is how do you kind of see and control your cockpit and your flight sim setup? How people ask me, hey, how do you see what you're controlling? I'm gonna leave that video linked right here for you guys to watch. If you guys have any questions, check it out right there. Uh, 30,000 people have watched it and I'm surprised. People found it very helpful on how I see in VR a couple practical tips on how to get that done. So see you guys in that video. Out.